let's begin. I had to get out of the house. Yeah, well, that's one way to do it. Yeah. All right, uh, can we get a recap? Of course. Where we last left our heroes, Robert and Genevieve were locked in an epic battle. In your previous bout, words were said that can't be unsaid. Curses were uttered. This is your house's last chance at reconciliation. Tempers are running high due to Robert once again showing his knack for poor timing. I look around. You're in a restaurant cafe, one of those that has coffee, but also nice food like quiche or croque monsieur. During the day, it seems kind of weird. You're kind of like, what? But at night, very romantic, bistro style. It would be romantic if Robert were on time. <sighs> uh, I sit down as casually as possible, and I'm gonna try lying about why I'm so late. Okay, your lying is plus three, but her class comes equipped with women's intuition. I lie anyway. So I had to stop traffic, you know? I, I, I put on my gloves and I whistle and I was holding people back and then I had to uh, deliver the dogs safely, all of them. I was like a, a, a dog midwife. Uh, is Seth's turnover? Yes, but he'll continue to spout off at the mouth until your first action, Corey. Okay, uh, I use my perception to look for tells on his appearance. Sparking and honking and... I even had them name one of the puppies after you. He has red creases around his eyes. What are those red marks on your face? There's a red ring around your eyes. I... You were at that mall kiosk again trying on VR goggles, weren't you? The VR sets are $600 to own, but they're free to use at the mall. You were supposed to be here at 8 o'clock. How are you supposed to check your watch when you're in a cutting edge virtual environment? Okay, look, I'm sorry. It, it's just that I'm a legend there. No one harnesses the technology the way I do. I cast memory extraction. Oh, really? Nobody. Help, 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 help. Ah! Sounds like it was really worth it. All right, everybody, I'd now like to take a moment to tell you that the tension level is now at high. If you'd like to start a fight, you can do so anytime on your turn. Brandon, you're up. Uh, okay, um, I get 20% more gold if this quest ends with low tensions. So I'm going to defuse. I don't understand what I can do anymore. Tonight okay. was it, Robert. Tonight I, was your last sure. chance. How's everyone doing tonight? <laughs> How will you defuse? I'm gonna use my special. I, I would love to tell you guys about our specials. We've got a pan-seared beef heart over a bed of wild rice that makes an excellent pairing with our California cab. I run perception to see how this is going. No negative reaction. No improvement either. Um, okay, I'm gonna try and bring this home with a joke. And I wanna remind everybody, since I'm class waiter, that I have <sighs> acting and improv origins. So, watch out, it's gonna be good. <laughs> Not good. You tell your joke, it's long-winded, it's a little racial, you're gesticulating all over the place, you end up disturbing six other customers. Okay, but I'm I not done! You try to save face by going even farther with the joke, really. Trying to double down for some reason. You're very loud, you're playing with his fork, which is noticeably off-putting. There's a woman, she starts crying. That throws off the rhythm, had there been a rhythm. And that is when I decided, no more Ethiopian food for me! Uh, well, I'm gonna go get those drinks started for you guys right away. All right, I end my turn early, and I retreat to the walk-in freezer where I'm gonna give myself a pep talk. Your pep will charge until the next turn. Stupid Becky, stupid buddy. All right, Angus, it goes to you. For the past four turns, your character has been engaged in a lover's lurk outside of the restaurant. How do you proceed? Okay, I, I have cigarettes in my inventory. I smoke them. You light a cigarette, you deeply inhale, gives you plus 10 moodiness. That, combined with your character's super low rationality levels and a recent rewatch of Say Anything, gives you the stats to activate Crazy romantic gesture. 
<sighs> okay, I'm going for it. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the CRG. Oh! <laughs> yeah. This is a game now. I don't think I've ever seen. All right, these. crazy romantic gestures are all or nothing. Angus, you will either succeed or fail and be out of the campaign for good. Either way, your turn will not end until this reaches a conclusion. Your crazy romantic gesture must include a strong embrace, a visual metaphor for your love, <laughs> oh. Oh. and a wacky disguise. I, I guess I'm gonna have to make it work. Let's, let's go for it. Roll for your confidence levels. Ooh, you're coming in hot. Real hot. Um, are, are there multiple entrances? Front door and kitchen back door. Uh, I go for the back door before I can second guess myself. You enter a stainless steel industrial kitchen. Pots and pans on the walls. There's a chef who clearly loves his job, contentedly stirring today's soup. Lobster bisque. Okay, I use my strong embrace on the chef uh, around his neck. It is allowed. He falls into a deep and dreamless slumber. Uh, I, I take the chef's clothes and I put them on. I look for one of those, I, you know, the. The dinner surprise, the, the you know, in the cartoons, like when they... When it's we, called a platter and dome, and yes, you find one. It has an inventory in it. You can transfer two items. Okay, then Dinner I, surprise? I'm assuming that there's a chef special around, uh, so I put that in the platter and dome. Just take a moment to hear my side No, I've taken plenty of moments, and it's never worth it, Robert. Never explains it. Just... Your dinner is served. RJ? My broken heart. Oh. Get it? With that, I successfully finish my CRG and end my turn. Well, gotta give it up. Two claps. Thank you. Is it my turn now? It is. Okay, I immediately start a fight. RJ, what the heck are you doing, man? Jenner, are you seriously still talking to this psycho? Look, get real. She's with me now. Guys, come what? on, stop, you're making a scene! Get real, me yeah. get real! Yeah. You'll get real, dude! You're the one that spends all your time within that cutting-edge virtual environment. You can't even see the real flesh and blood beauty in front of your own two real stupid eyes! I get up in RJ's face to show him who's boss. How close am I? <laughs> Zero inches. Your noses are touching, you can feel each other's hot breath on your lips. Corey, your turn. <laughs> okay. Guys, stop it! Stop it! Stop fighting! Um, I tell RJ that he shouldn't be with anyone right now. Um, he needs time to heal because he's clearly still grieving after his mother's death. And that's no one's fault, but he should be in therapy on medication. You need to be in therapy on medication. Now I turn my attention to Robert. And you! You knew tonight was your last chance. I tell Robert that tonight was his last chance. I tell him I'm not a kid anymore and I can't wait around for him to get serious about starting a family, so I'm moving out. I'm moving out. That's it. This is over. I go on to remind him of his promise that he wouldn't turn into his father, and yet here we are having a screaming match in a restaurant. Do you take any action? Well, I can only win this campaign if I get out of the relationship with my dignity intact. So I grab my purse, I finish my wine, and I move to leave. Great. Brandon, your turn. How'd my pep talk go? You are overflowing with pep. All right. I walk out of the freezer, and I take a look around the kitchen. Uh, you see the chef on the floor. He's dead. He's dead? dead. dead. I thought he was just in a dream of slumber. Strong embrace. What's my relationship with the chef? Long time boss, friend, mentor, Ursat's father figure. You buy him birthday presents. He sends you a Christmas card, sometimes even Easter. What's your action? Boom. Ah! You killed him. You killed that beautiful man. You're in a vengeful rage fueled by your pep talk. Well, he's dead? 
Why, I thought he was just in a dreamless slumber. You're a monster. He was, he was good. <laughs> and he was pure. And this, this restaurant was his dream. And you, you, you took it from him. And now I'm going to take you. <laughs> <laughs> Robert? I flee. You try to flee, but you stumble backwards. Waitress's rage is still up. I'm going to advance on RJ. It's supposed to be a strong embrace. Time to close your stab. Clang! Genevieve comes out of nowhere from behind with the platter and dome used as a weapon to end the waitress's berserker rage. Thank you very much, thank you very much, thank you very much. I now move to comfort my dying boyfriend. Jen, I'm sorry. No, you did so good. You finally thought of someone other than yourself. You didn't need to die, you big dummy. You could have just showed up on time. H happy anniversary. I'm sorry. I won't be the next one. I got you a gift. I, I guess now's as good of a time as any to give it to you. I reveal my secret key item. And that's the campaign, everyone. Congrats to our winners. Seth is Robert for finally learning to care about someone other than himself and win back Genevieve's respect and affections. And Corey is Genevieve for making it out of the relationship with her dignity intact. So what's everyone doing after this? I want to be date master next time. Ooh, I want to be a girl. What campaign are we going to do next? Tinder group date at the escape room. <laughs>